Welcome to this week's Cybersecurity Minute. Now you may have seen in the news an article about Uber, who's been accused of tracking users even after they've deleted the app from their iPhones. So let's look into this for a couple of seconds here. Well, what exactly was happening? Well, Uber had used some code inside of their app so that it could create a unique fingerprint of the user's device. Now they claimed that they were doing this as a way to prevent fraud because what they were seeing was some people would have a, a iPhone, they would uh, get a stolen credit card, they'd ring up big charges of Uber drives, and then they would delete that app, put it on again, and then create a new user account. So Uber put this code in there so they could define which individual users were which. That doesn't sound so bad, right? Well, they said they were doing this to prevent fraud, which is what they allegedly were doing. The way they were doing this was by creating a unique identifier, and it's called a UUID. And the problem with that is it actually went against Apple's terms of service. With Apple's terms of service for developers says you cannot track users that way. Once they delete the app, you're supposed to stop tracking them. So there was an issue there. Uh, the thing that really seems fishy here is according to the alleged articles here, is that Uber's code allegedly had a geofence in there that actually prevented people in Cupertino, which is where Apple's headquarters are, from seeing that piece of the code. So it didn't affect all users, it only affect a large percentage of users. Almost like they were trying to hide it from Apple, which is, seems a little off there, right? So the bottom line here is it really wasn't necessarily a privacy breach. They were doing it to prevent some kind of fraud from occurring. But the way they executed it, it sounds like it smells a little fishy. Now, we don't have the code, we don't have the details of this, but again, there's still going to be reviews going on to see exactly what happened. And if you follow it in the news, we'll see what ends up coming out of this. But the bottom line here is that, you know, if you're a company and you're an app developer, you just want to stay ethical. You want to do things the right way. Uh, things, even if they aren't necessarily, quote, wrong, they can smell wrong and they can really put your business in a bad light. And in this case, Uber's getting a lot of press over this that is just not going to be helpful to their image.